everyone. This is my face. Oh my god. How cool is that? Oh, it's Thursday night for now. So, welcome back. Today is day two of my skin care regimen. My skin feels so smooth, so soft. Um, my face used to feel like sandpaper and I just can't get over how soft it feels. I feel like it could, I mean, compared to normal, it's a baby's bum, let's be honest. Um, the redness, I don't know if you can see, but the redness is uh, dissipating. I've still got a few spots, but generally I'm feeling quite happy with that. My skin used to feel really rough, um, like sandpaper. I would say people used to always point out that I was peeling. Even in just three uses, I can feel the difference in the softness of my skin. The 1% BHA is definitely responsible for that. I don't know about the azelic acid, but I think the BHA is definitely responsible for that. Um, but yeah, I am quite impressed actually quite impressed it takes a lot for a skincare product to impress me and i'm quite impressed <laughs> good morning everyone so i've now done this is my second few day um morning i've now done my skincare i put the spf from paula's choice on plus i put my um helio care 360 on um because it's an spf of 50 and the heat really affects my face and the sun really affects my face, so I go extra. But yeah, I'm quite pleased. None of my face is stinging or burning. I'm impressed. Um, but I've just realised the skin clearing spot clearing treatment is the same as the azelaic acid. The ingredients are all the same. Um, and azelaic acid comes second on the list in the same place it does in both products. So yeah, thought I'd let you know about that, but I'm so impressed. Off to get some fuel now for the car. Hey guys, so this is my face hanging out the window. Look how much better that is. This is my face. It's just so good. Anyway, I'm off to the petrol station now. I shall see you soon. Bye. Hello. Hello everyone. So I'm about to go into my mum's house. Um, so for those wondering, I live in the UK. And if you ha are a single person in the UK, you can see one other, you can have a support bubble with another household. So that's why I'm allowed to go see my mum. But we're going to see what her reaction is to my face when we get in. It's only me. <coughs> Dolly, come feel my face. On your honest opinion. Well, the sun is shining in my face out there. Yeah. I'm not worried about the redness. If I can cover the redness with makeup, as long as I can stop it hurting. Yeah. Oh, that is nice and smooth. God, doesn't that make... What have you done? That's lovely. Just, uh four uses of my new skincare. Doesn't that feel better? Didn't it feel like sandpaper before? Yeah. Feel that. Oh, I can't stop touching it. I know. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's... you can't feel any of those lumps either. No, it's working. Good. It's working. <laughs> good, I'm glad it's something. Hello, everyone. So this is my face. Like, the redness has gone down dramatically from before. Like, look so much better oh it feels so soft it's a little bit sensitive because it's 18 degrees outside so the heat is an impact but much more bearable than it was before um yeah quite happy morning everyone so i've literally just woken up look at my face oh my god this has gone down drastically since yesterday wow it's so soft oh my god I can't actually believe it. Hello, everyone. This is my face. Oh, my God. How cool is that? Oh, it's Thursday night for now. Hello, everyone. This is my face. 
Oh my god. How cool is that? Oh, it's Thursday, not tomorrow. Ooh, I'm off for a nap. Look how good my skin looks. Oh my gosh. Look, you can actually see my olive now. Amazing. Anyway, I'm off for a nap on this very uncomfortable bed of mine. Um, I did not sleep. Hello, everybody. Today is day four of my new skincare regime. And I'm quite impressed. I have to say, look. I just look slightly blushed. Like, that is like, just slightly blushed. I don't look red raw, which is how I normally look. Um, this, this is doable. I do have a little bit of irritation on this side of my face. Um, and it seems to occur when I use the SPF um the mineral spf i don't really know why so i'm going to try different ways of applying it um see if i can apply that over top of a different moisturizer and then my normal spf on top of that um now i know my normal spf does not itch me so we're going to see how that goes uh, firstly and go from there so i've got another parcel coming from paula's choice today because i ordered a few extra bits i ordered another azelia azelaic acid 10% because I do feel like that's having an impact on the redness um, I'm not sure it works on spots to be honest I've now reverted to clearisil rapid action treatment cream um, and in the two days I've been using that my spots have gone down so I can't say it works for spots what I can say is it does make my skin look a little less red um, so we've got that and then I've got um, a omega moisturizer coming as well and um, my mum's ordered the two percent bha um that everyone raves about she's got better skin than me so she probably can handle that um i think in a few months time when my skin's stable hopefully i might try that see how it goes but right now i can't really take the risk um also i found the aestheticians clinic now i don't get any look I can like move my face. I don't get any treatments like that, but I do go there because um, they sell the sunscreen that I like to use, which is the Helio Care 360 um, in there, but they sell it in a bigger size than I can get on Amazon. And it's about the same price, um, but in buying it from there, I feel like I'm supporting small business rather than putting money into Bezos' pocket. So I really like that idea. It's nearest to my home, so if I'm running out or I use the last lot in the morning, I can just pop in and buy some. It's great. Um, but I spoke to them, and they do have a skincare uh, specialist there, and a dermatology nurse, I think she is. Um, so she said, if I don't get on with what I'm doing to book a consultation to speak about further things. But obviously, at the moment, that's not really necessary because... I mean, I'm, I just can't believe this is my face. It feels so smooth. I've got some reactions from my mum. Like, it's a bit rough here today. I'm not really sure what's going on. But I think this is all the dead skin starting to come off my face. Um, which I was warned would happen. But I'm just so impressed. I'm just so impressed. It's... Like, this is my face. I just... I can't believe it. I can't stop. <laughs> My face feels cool as well. Like when I put my hands on it now, my hands feel hot on my face, whereas before my face used to burn my hands. So there's been a difference there as well. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed. I'm not saying it's going to work for everyone. I'm not sponsored by Paula's Choice. Obviously, I don't have enough subscribers for that. Um, but I just spent the money with a six week cash back, get a 60 day money back. Um, with the sustain money back guarantee sort of thing i was like mm, let's i'll take that risk because if it doesn't work i can send it back and i'm gonna know in 60 days whether it works or not because you know that's you know about two months and normally you'd see some sort of improvement after about 30 days or you'd know if it was singing your face off after the first use so yeah um i thought that you know about that i i mean I'm so impressed. I'm just so impressed.
and that is it for me for today i have a new mattress coming today because my mattress is terrible i've not been sleeping well at all um i feel like i was sold a dodgy one my mum's got the same mattress and hers is older than mine and hers is perfectly fine and mine's got a dip in it and my mum and my dad together weigh twice as much as me so yeah i'm hoping a few good nights sleeps we just helped take the information a bit more but this like no one would see people would just think oh you know it's humid it's fine no one would realize that i had rosacea so i'm quite impressed it, i've had better results than i was planning to have so i'm quite happy we'll see how it goes um sometimes things work for a while and then it doesn't work for a while again um and sometimes something else happens so hopefully it continues to work as you can see my face is still a little bit red this is now day It's the same day as the clip you've just seen um where i've been sat at the window for about half an hour editing and as you can see my face is coming up red but fundamentally it is not sore so i could still put foundation and stuff on cover up with some makeup so i just wanted to point that out now it does go down um but when the sun comes at it it gets a bit warm i've not got the fan on but it still feels cool to the touch like my hand still feels hot um hot when i put it on my face so that's good but i just thought i'd show you that it fluctuates through the day but i am now getting some respite from the pain and the irritation and i do sometimes look white and not radish red so i thought i'd be honest about that and let you know